the wolves, that's my clan. And my teachers were my grandparents, my grandmother and my, my great aunt and my mother. They told me the stories, so I wanted to honor them. So I called the exhibition Wolves. I was born like in 48 and there was a lot of elders in the, before the television, there was, uh, we told our stories after supper and at night. After the television came in, the people stopped and started watching television. <laughs> so I was lucky I was part of that. There was no television until the early 60s. I didn't see it. And so I was lucky I got stories from my grandparents and my mother. And I was lucky they chose me. I realize now they chose me to tell the stories too. Because like all my work, it's part of our culture, part of our history. It's who we are. Basically, most of my masks are made out of alder. And I did make a few yellow cedar masks, but those are two of our traditional woods. We also use red cedar, and each wood has its own purpose. Like we use alder because alder is a hardwood and it could get very fine detail. And it's a very beautiful wood and it's got no taste. So with the alder, we make spoons, we make bowls, we make ladles. And of the yellow cedar, we make small sculptures, totem poles, dance staffs, and because it's really good detail. And out of the red cedar, we make big totem poles because it lasts the longest outside and it's very good for a big sculpture. I think that art has to evolve and has to change. And what I think about as an artist, eventually you can learn so much, you could do so much, but eventually you've got to find your own style. You got to find your own way, your own path, and your own truth. And that's what I've been doing, like trying different things, learning, continuously learning. Because I think about like, if you stop learning as an artist, you stop being an artist. And a true artist too, you only really see what you know. If you don't know it, you don't see it. And it don't wait for you too.